from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. The rape trial for former NFL tight end Kellen Winslow Jr. started this morning in Vista Court. He is charged with rape, kidnapping, and indecent exposure. The prosecutor outlining in painful detail what jurors should expect to hear from each of the five accusers. Winslow Jr. remains in custody during this trial because while he was out on a $2 million bond, he was accused of exposing himself to a woman at a gym in Carlsbad. Now, if he's convicted on all counts, he could face life in prison. Today, San Diego families welcomed home their sailors as USS Spruance returned from a seven-month deployment. Navy sailors on the Spruance couldn't wait to hug their families who patiently waited for the ship to dock. While on deployment, the roughly 700 sailors participated in multiple exercises with international allies. Today, they will start a much-deserved break with their loved ones. As thousands of drivers across the state prepare to hit the road for the busy Memorial Day weekend, traffic officials are reminding everybody to buckle up. The Click It or Ticket campaign starts today and it runs through June 2nd. During this campaign, law enforcement agencies statewide will have additional officers on patrol. Now they say California has a 96.2% rate of seat belt use, which is one of the highest rates in the country, but it is down from previous years. The fine is $162 if you're caught not wearing a seat belt. Megan Perry, we're seeing rain. How much longer? Oh, well, we have several more days of it. In fact, this May has been an interesting one. In fact, we even saw a little bit of snow over Mount Laguna this morning. We'll see showers taper off into the afternoon. Only about a slight chance, about a 10 to 20% chance for a pop up shower, mostly near our mountain areas this afternoon. 60s for the coast and valleys, 40s in the mountains, which is about 30 degrees cooler than normal. With 70s in the deserts, it's also pretty gusty out there. A wind advisory is in effect for the mountains and deserts, but we are even seeing gusts up to about 25 miles per hour, so all the way to our coastline. On top of that, a beach hazard statement in effect until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Waves of 5 to 7 feet, along with dangerous rip currents. Isolated light showers possible tomorrow with scattered shower activity on Wednesday. We will get a break briefly Friday and Saturday. It does look like another chance for at least light showers on Sunday. We're mostly in the 60s this weekend for the coast and, or this week for the coast and for our inland neighborhoods. Virginia. All right. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from the App Store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.